Level by Level Gaming here, and this is going to be another video on the PAPK3 Plus. Now, if you remember in my previous video, I showed you how to take it apart and get to this micro SD card here so you could make a backup image because um, we're going to be putting in a custom menu, um, we're going to be installing some things directly onto the operating system of this device and it's just a good idea to have a copy of your card just in case you mess it up you can reflash this thing and go right back to vanilla or um, stock operating systems with this thing and like I said just in case there is some kind of mistake so if you also remember this is where you can see the model number on this chip here the JZ4760 now mine does say PAPK3S um, but we're going to roll with this thing as the PAPK3 Plus um, like I said I still just need to do some more research and and see if that's just what this board is stamped as and I have read some stuff that kind of points to that fact that it is a, a plus model but it just has the K3S on the board here but like I said, might be wrong about that, but we're going to roll with it as the PAP K3 Plus. Now, um, what you're going to need is you're going to need to connect your console to your PC where you can see that it has the uh, removable disk, internal disk showing here. And you also are going to in insert a new or a blank external SD card it's got a slot for it right on the top of the device you put that in there and it's going to show as a blank removable disk mine are here are E and G so as long as you're reading that we are golden up to this point so the files you're going to need are the custom menu files the emulator pack here the apps and something I also grabbed and I'm just going to make available is a copy of the vanilla firmware for the device that you could put back on an SD card and I did test this on a new SD card um, I flashed this took the original out popped it in put my console back together and it worked just like the day that it came in the box no um, changes is just stock operating and the games that typically come with this thing like I said some come with different ones um, I didn't look to see if all these games are the ones that came with mine but um, that's really irrelevant as long as the menus work and the device works and you don't have a bricked system in case you mess up so here are these files I am going to make those available as links in the bottom of the the description on this video now um, the website that you're going to go to if you don't want to go and to the links that I've provided from Dropbox and Google Drive to those files plus just for your general knowledge um, and to kind of see how this thing is going and stay plugged into the community of uh, this website here I hope I'm saying this right and not butchering it but the dingunity.org you go here and this forum is great and it's where all these uh, people are working hard um, enthusiasts and other people that, that just love these devices um, and want to get the most out of them this is where you would go and get all those files read how they evolved um, answer questions that you have uh, that I don't talk about things of that nature this is where you want to go and if you remember on that picture here this model number JZ4760 that is where you're going to go if you go on boards and you just scroll down you'll see all these different handhelds and other topics um, lots and lots of reading I've been pouring through this stuff for a couple weeks now um, and really just enjoying this forum and the one we're looking for is under other portable consoles and here we go you see the JZ47XX devices um, like I said ours would be the 60 and under here you'll see the PAPK3 Plus the RS97 
and other devices that are powered by that chip. Um, go in here and once again lots of information to go through three pages here at the point of this video and um, we are going to go to PAP K3 Plus. Now in here you have Jack83 he is the one that has put together this uh, custom menu that we're going to be using and the other packages that we're going to be installing on the device. Now you can read through all of this stuff. I recommend it because not only is it entertaining or it was to me, but it's also so informative and it is fascinating to see the progression of this device. Um, also, this author here, um, Lenny Winks, on this forum, he is the one that posted the backup image of the vanilla software. Don't exactly remember which post it was. I grabbed it when I was reading through, downloaded it just to make it available and to have it for myself. And like I said, it is tested and it does work. So um, you, you could go through and read all the posts by Jack here. You can see, I think on this first page, he has his first version right here. Here's the first version of the ported menu or the custom menu here. And you're gonna have to go all the way to post eight for the latest one as of the making of this video. And that is the one that I'm gonna be using. So let's just skip ahead, uh, get here to post eight of 15. Uh, da -da -da, there it is. And under page eight here of this um, topic, you're going to see, where is it? There it is. All right, so Jack83 um, finally made another release of the D menu and uh, have fun with it. And here is the file. If you want to get it directly off of here and not grab it off of my links, um, here it is for your uh, download. Here is a video of the system in use being operated. Um, I don't think it shows installation. Um, that's why I'm doing this video, but it does show what it looks like and it gives you a better idea if this is something that you want to switch over to use or just do it for fun. Now, I think it's post nine is the easiest place from post eight to find some of these other files. It, yes, here is a quoted from a previous post here. The older D menu, I believe this is the older version of it. This is the emulator pack and this is the apps pack. And there's also just a brief explanation of installing it here, making a backup of your external SD card, unpacking all the zips to the root of your external SD card. Note, make sure that you realize or understand that it is the external card and not the internal card that you're unzipping this stuff to. Um, start the installer and install the new menu. And I mean, it's very basic, but that is what we're going to be doing today. So, um, and once again, yes, thank you for all your work. Thank all these guys for their hard work on this. And as you can see, as of the time of this, there's a lot of interest in this thing. There's 15 pages and it's just a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of questions being asked, a lot of ideas being thrown around. And once again, before I move on, I just will say one more time, um, please check out these sites because they're the ones that make this type of stuff available. I'm certainly not the one that's <laughs> writing all these menus and doing this. I'm just um, enjoying the fruits of their labor. So that being said, we are going to go back to here. This is the external SD card, uh, removable disk G. As you can see, it's fresh, clean, there's nothing on it. And I'm going to unpack these into, well, let's just do it one at a time. Let's extract all. Let's find our SD card. Desktop, that is not what I want. Computer.
computer. Here we go. And it is removable disk G. We are going to extract, let it go through its process. So the D menu is being extracted at this time. 15 seconds remaining. That's part one. Let's go with the emulators next. No, I don't think it really matters, but um, go back. Remove G. Okay, and extract. Two minutes. So. And um, if you're new to my video series here, this is an older PC, uh, Windows 7 device, um, but it's my utility PC, catch-all PC. I got a good comfy chair. Uh, my gaming PC is in the living room uh, connected to a uh, 4K TV, and I sit in the floor, or sometimes I put a chair up there. I know uh, maybe TMI, but this is just the one I use for a lot of these and this thing will connect to um, the Windows 10 PC my gaming PC no problems and in one of my other videos I do cover if you're having problems getting it to connect to your PC what you do for that so just go back if you haven't already go back and watch the videos if you have any questions about why your uh, console will not connect or why it doesn't show up on your computer's systems here. 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. 45 seconds. Okay. And this is the part where I probably should um, learn how to speed up the video. In fact, I'm going to learn how to do that next. Um, fairly new to YouTube and new to the video editing, so if I don't speed this section up, um, I'm definitely going to learn before I get to too many of these videos. So thank you for bearing with me. Twenty seconds. Ten. We're getting somewhere. Five. All right. All right. So in the root of the system here, we have our menu, and we have our emulator pack. So. Um, Let's get the final thing here. Let's get these apps extracted onto there. Maybe it won't take as long as the um, emulators did. So, computer, drive G, OK, and extract. Wow, and that went quick. So, um, in this file here, in the D menu, you're going to have your installer and you're going to have your emulator pack. We have a final burn alpha, um, and I really am gonna to have to look and see. That's obviously SNES uh, Pico Drive. I'm fairly certain that is Mega Drive, and um, we have some of these others. Now, bear in mind, watching this video, guys, I kid you not, this is the first time that I've put this on this device and I really do have a lot to learn about what exactly it comes with with it and those will be videos for another time so now that we have all that on here um, and you know where to go to find the original um, posts and you know where all my links you can get the 
uh, files from if you don't want to get them directly from here what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to the uh, part of the video where I go on the device install it and show you guys the new menu so please stay tuned